If you have a high energy dog like I do, I've learned something that has changed the game for us and could potentially for you as well. Lucy has a ton of energy. She likes to run all the time. She wants to be outside playing. She wants to chase her toys. She has so much energy. And we know that when we first feed our dogs, there is a period of time where they cannot roughhouse, they cannot run around, or they could risk flipping their stomachs. And so when we first wake up, I typically feed my dogs first thing in the morning. I'll take them out for a quick little walk in the yard, bring them in, feed them, let them out again, and then I'll have them settle. But Lucy has so much energy that she does not like to settle first thing in the morning. So before I feed my dogs, I actually take them out for a little bit longer time in the yard. And this is something you can do inside, outside. I know the weather's not always going to comply with you, but I take her out and I play really hard with her. But because it's first thing in the morning, because my other dogs do not want to do this because I have just woken up. I don't always love to run around and play really hard. So I have found that a flirt pole or a teaser pole, which we've talked about a lot here on the channel, is a really good thing for me to allow my dog to run around and get a lot of that energy out without stressing any of the rest of us out. So this is really nice because I can take her out to play. We can run around. We can have a lot of fun. Gemma can go outside and then go back inside and watch us from the window. She can rest a little bit. And I always make sure that I'm playing with her really, really hard for a couple of minutes. And that can be however long you want it to be until your dog tires out. It could be five minutes. It could be 10 minutes. That is totally up to you and your specific dog. But I really like it because I can stand in one place and circle it around me. I don't have to do too much moving. I can also run around on different places in my yard so that I am getting a little bit of an out, uh, exercise, a little bit of a workout involved with this as well. And then we can play and have fun and bond. And then we can go in and eat her food. She'll be real ready for her food and also a little bit calmer when I'm feeding her. I do hand feed my dogs because they're still young. I'm doing some training with this, but I also hand feed them because Gemma has something weird where she chokes on food. So we kind of tamper that down for her and make it a little bit easier. And so Lucy will be a little bit calmer when she eats as well if I have worked her out before we do that. Now, I don't do this every single day just because it's not conducive to our schedule all the time. But when possible, I am taking her out to play. And oftentimes it's with the flirt pole, but sometimes it's just chasing her ball, chasing her around. Sometimes it's different things. But for the most part, this is going to be easy and functional for us so that we can have fun, so that we can do these things without wearing everyone out. And there's lots of different toys you can attach to it, different ways that you can be doing this. We have videos on how to do this, but doing something that involves physical activity before feeding her in the morning has worked really, really well so that she's calmer when she eats, so that she's not going to have a fit when she has to sit in her crate for half an hour after she eats to make sure that they're not rough housings and nothing's going to happen to them physically. And she is going to be calmer throughout the day if I am then playing with her first thing in the morning and then sometime throughout the day, making sure that she's getting enough exercise and stimulation. So I really, really like starting the day off with exercise for her because it works to everybody's benefit. And on the days that we can't do that, we just have to make sure that I am taking her outside and playing a little bit more throughout the day to cope with the fact that she didn't get it first thing in the morning. So if you have a high energy dog, exercise first thing in the morning by playing out in your yard with a flirt pole or even using the flirt pole in the house and chasing you around the house with it is going to work to your benefit for a lot of us. If you have that high energy dog, let me know down below. Tell me their name and their breed so I can learn a little bit more about you. And if you've got questions on enriching your dogs, working with them to get them the proper exercise and make sure that they are stimulated in the right ways, go ahead and drop those down below. We're also teaching you how to take better content and photos of your dog, how to travel with your dog, all of those really great beach tips for your dogs and products that we will love to help your dog to grow and to make you the best dog parent that you can possibly be. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.